Everything is bigger in Texas, including some of the problems, like farm labor. Meep clears another legislative hurdle, and free CWD testing is available to deer hunters in many parts of the state. I'm Janelle Bros, and this is Farm News 5. Farm News 5 is brought to you by Ford. Michigan Farm Bureau affiliate Great Lakes Ag Labor Services wrapped its Agriculture Leadership Exchange tour with Texas Farm Bureau earlier this week. The focus of the whirlwind trip to the Texas border, labor. The labor shortage has been hitting the cherry industry hard for 20 or 30 years, um, but I'm seeing uh, that labor shortage starting to hit uh, other commodities that require a lot of hand labor, but not quite so much as cherries or other small fruits. I'm really interested in this perspective of producers who rely on labor, but who also have to deal with uh, the incursion of uh, people coming across the border, of the federal government, and of border patrol on their farms. Uh, that's something that is totally foreign to me as a Michigan producer. Up next, MEEP Extension passes the Michigan Senate. There's torque, then there's 1,050 pound-feet of available best-in-class torque. There's towing, then there's up to 37,000 pounds of available best-in-class towing. There's backing up a trailer, then there's backing up with available class-exclusive Pro Trailer Backup Assist. In other words, there are trucks, and then there's the new Ford Super Duty, the most capable heavy-duty pickup truck ever built. Legislation reauthorizing the Michigan Agriculture Environmental Assurance Program, or MEEP, for another four years passed the Michigan Senate this week with strong bipartisan support and now heads over to the Michigan House. Basically, the, the current bill is, is nothing but an extension or a, a uh, extension of the, of the uh, sunset. So we've got a four-year extension in the sunset. Uh, very few changes were made other than that. So it's an extension of a good program that works well. And being MEEP verified, Michigan Agricultural Environmental Assurance Program, means that, uh, that you've gone through those steps and done some things, spent some money. We had to spend uh, several thousand dollars on our farm to meet the requirements that were necessary to do it the right way. And I think that's important that we as farmers need to be proud of that. And we need to, and, and I would encourage other farmers to get involved and, and be, prou be proud of what you've done and what you've accomplished. We're hoping the bill does well on the House side. You know, I, I think farmers overall, agriculture should be excited about this program because we've been we've done such a great job for the last 10 years and and really pushing a program, a, a national program that uh, is the uh, is the you know the interest of the across the country. It's a program that everybody's interested in how we've been able to do it and been able to do it as a voluntary program. So one of the most important things to me is that this is still a voluntary program, fully voluntary. It's in the legislation as a voluntary program. So um, I, I expect it to do well in the House. I expect us to be able to get the votes and get it passed through there. Farm Bureau's member-driven policy supports the amended version of the Senate Bill 494 because MEEP remains a statewide voluntary program and does not include any fee increases to the farms and agribusinesses that generate revenue for the program through fertilizer and pesticide fees. Farm Bureau also supports the legislature allocating $25 million in new state budget funds for a pilot program to further support implementation of agricultural nutrient best management practices to improve water quality in the western Lake Erie Basin. The program includes cost sharing and grants to help implement on-farm conservation practices, technical support, water or soil quality testing, and education outreach and training. Coming up. Hunters will soon have access to free CWD testing in some parts of the state. At Farm Bureau Insurance, the experience you get with our local trusted advisors is different. From financial security to a helping hand, Farm Bureau understands the experience matters. Find an agent who can protect what matters to you. The Michigan Department of Natural Resources is offering free chronic wasting disease testing for all deer harvested in Michigan's southern lower counties and the core CWD surveillance area in the Upper Peninsula from now until the end of the year. Hunters in a handful of mid-Michigan counties can also have their deer tested for free the week of November 15th. So what we know about chronic wasting disease is um, 
prevention is the best form of management. So if you can prevent the disease from becoming established, that's the best thing that you can do for chronic wasting disease. Um, second to that is early detection. So if CWD gets introduced into an area, uh, you wanna be able to find it very quickly, hopefully remove it before it has a chance to become established in, in the ground and the soil. So uh, really, if, if hunters are hunting in any of those three counties that are in southern Michigan, those three tiers of counties, bring your deer into a deer check station and submit it for testing. You know, we'll give you a patch for it for your cooperation, which are obviously a, an important collectible. Uh, and then you'll also get your deer head tested and then obviously sort of a peace of mind in knowing that the animal uh, either has detected CWD or it's, it's not been detected with CWD. And then over time, we're gonna rotate around the state uh, and hopefully build up an understanding for each county in Michigan. The biggest thing that, that is really helpful, um, especially for, for farmers who are out a lot, you know, in the field a lot, um, you know, they're, their eyes and their observations can be most helpful. We've got a really healthy, robust deer population. Um, in terms of chronic wasting disease, we haven't seen any impacts on that population to date. Um, you know, the concern with management of the deer and, and chronic wasting disease together is that you're, you're enacting regulations and management practices today to help curve a problem that's going to, that we anticipate is going to happen in 10 to, to 20 to 30 years and it, because that's what's being observed in other locales. In other news, six Michigan Farm Bureau members have announced their candidacy for two open at-large board of director positions. Voting delegates will cast their vote during the annual meeting November 30th and December 1st. You can learn more about each candidate by visiting the Michigan Farm Bureau website. Speaking of the annual meeting, in-person district meetings and virtual discussion meets were held this week in advance of the gathering in Grand Rapids at the end of the month. Registration is now open for a hands-on drainage design workshop. The event, March 8th through the 10th in East Lansing, will teach drainage design with hands-on exercises and design software. Farmers, landowners, drainage contractors, and consultants interested in learning more about the workshop or who want to register can visit Michigan State University's College of Engineering website. For more news and videos, visit michiganfarmnews.com or the Michigan Farm Bureau channel on YouTube. With Farm News 5, I'm Janelle Bros. Have a great week of farming.